Femme. So I just woke up. It's September 15th. It has been like a little bit of a weird morning. It's actually afternoon right now, but still, like I just woke up. Like in my head, it's still morning. <laughs> it's 1 p.m. right now. So I went to bed around 1.30 a.m. and I woke at 7 and then I went back to sleep at 8 and then I slept until 10. Then I went to bed at 11 again, <laughs> 11 this morning, and then I woke at 12. Like, ugh. It's like messy, but I am trying to get enough sleep because my sleep schedule has been like a little bit wobbly and I do not want to stay up all night and sleep during the day because that's very, very not beneficial for my mental health and or my binging. So since it's a little bit later, I always struggle a lot with eating. Like, what should I do? Should I have lunch? Should I just have my breakfast? My dietitian says like, just eat your breakfast, wait for like two, three hours, then eat your second meal, wait again for two, three hours, eat your dinner, and that's just it. So that's what I'm most of the time trying to do, but it really like, it messes a little bit with my mental like my mind because I'm I'm like yeah but it already has been like my window of eating breakfast so is this my lunch is this my breakfast but I then remember like what my dietitian says like okay don't see it as breakfast or lunch just see it as my meal number one I also have a little bit of a day where I'm like I do give a f it's not that I don't don't care about it but I am having a day where I'm just a little bit like ugh. I'm just a little bit tired of eating healthy all the time. I'm eating a little bit different than I normally would. So I would still call this like, I'm still eating under my calories for the day, but this is what I see as like a healthier, <laughs> unhealthy day. So I thought I would film everything that I am going to eat today. I do not have any plans yet for dinner or whatever. Most of the time that's pretty healthy, like in terms of calories at least. So um, yeah, let's just start with my breakfast or my first meal by the way i am i'm holding like with my hand i'm holding my lower fat roll i don't know like it's getting loose lately and it's very fun to play with i have some artificial sugar i'm going to add some milk like essentially this is just what i have eaten yesterday some oats with an apple and then like i said i'm a little bit like not really hungry but i just crave sweet stuff um so yeah this is custard we sell our custard like this and it's always like in the um, the fridge section that's like kept cold this is actually a custard that tastes like cocoa and pineapple but like if you look at the nutrition that's in here it's pretty pretty bad like um well i try not to use words like bad or whatever it's just just, it, it has quite some sugar and not like the complex sugar but the simple sugar so that's why I normally don't eat things like this I try to don't eat too much simple sugars so I do have this little tiny cup and I'm just going to have a little bit of it oh my god I hate when this happens and do you know what I do yeah I'm super gross and I just lick it off yeah, I'm, I'm by the way the only one that eats this, so it's okay. So let's get that in here. I also really have to clean my fridge and maybe I will have some fruit today. I have a lot of fruit. So now I decided to eat something which has like quite some sugar. I take the like the smallest spoon that I have to really like enjoy this as long as possible by having little spoonfuls. I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to cut up an apple and after it's warm and the artificial sugar has melted, I'm going to add my oats and my apple. So this will be it for my breakfast. I have my oats right here and like I said one cut up apple and I also have my little cup of custard and I'm going to really enjoy this. So bon appetit! Okay, so I am going to continue. This will be my lunch. It's actually almost 4 p.m. already, but okay, this is my second meal. Like I said, today is a day where I, I don't know, like normally I would have beaten myself up over a day like this. I try to not see foods as super good or super bad, whatever. These things like, I don't know, it's not really a cracker, but it's this like puffy, airy thingy. It's really crunchy, like here. This is what it looks like on the inside. Those are just 40 calories, but in each and every one of these things is 
0.8 pure sugar so and also like if you see the chocolate sprinkles more sugar so like i said this is a day where i'm not making the healthiest choices but still it's not a binge it's also not overeating it's a day where i choose to eat less healthy options than i normally would but i still stay under my calorie count yeah just wanted to show what i eat in days like this where i'm more unhealthy in my opinion than i normally am by the way if you're interested they contain like 6.6 .6 grams of carbs and uh, of those carbs 0.8 grams of carbs are like pure sugar so yeah Hello MFM, so it is pretty late. Yeah, it has been 9 p.m. Hi Stewie, hi Yuki. <laughs> it has been 9 p.m. and I am like dreading to cook for myself, but I am going to cook for myself because it's the week that I will have my period and I know that I am prone to binging during that time. So just eating at least my three meals at sort of regular times is very important. So I'll just, I'm just going to start. So as you can see, I butchered some bell peppers and zucchini. I seasoned it with just some pepper and some salt. That's it. And then yesterday I browned some of this ground meat, no ground beef. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to add that to here and then I'm going to just add a, like a pre-packaged um, pasta sauce. Really, really easy. I just have to get in some food and I don't feel like cooking very, very like hardcore. So first of all, I'm going to cook my veggies. Then here's my little pantry area. I think that I'm going to go for this sauce, maybe spaghetti, like spaghetti and macaroni. But then I also have this stuff. This is, I don't know, like I don't speak, is this Russian? I don't know. I'm going to just use one of these instant sauces with it. And it's a little bit of a mess. I am in the process right now of rearranging this extra spare room. As you can see, like this was full and full and full of junk. I am rearranging it to make this my YouTube area. Over here, there is my new light stand that I bought. Really excited about that. Then I still have to clean this pile of stuff, like most of it is just stuff that I have to put into these boxes. It's just like laziness. I didn't put it back when I used it, so I have to do it now after months and months of it laying there. I also cleaned that whole table and there's some stuff that we will be needing for tomorrow because we are going to paint tomorrow. And right there, there's a little cup of like wet cat food because I spoiled my cats just earlier. By the way, I have been sweating so much and then whilst cleaning, I figured like oh my god like my t-shirt is like the wrong way this is like the back of the t-shirt but whatever I did a lot of sweating so I really have to take a shower later to feel a little bit more human I guess so um, yeah that's it and also I'm not wearing a bra like I haven't been wearing a bra all day so yeah if you saw that I have big dangly boobs I know <laughs> so next I am adding if it wants to come out come on Really? <laughs> okay, let me get some help from this spoon. Uh, come on, get out. I think that's okay. Okay, so take two. I'm adding my minced meat to this. Okay, that was less smooth than I expected it to go. But yeah, 
Here is my sauce and if I have to be really honest it smells not that appetizing and also like when you look at the consistency if I shake this jar like just from looking at it I know that there is a lot of water in this sauce together with some like maizena I think it's called like this thing that makes consistencies a little bit thicker so and that's something that I really really hate about society like instead of real tomatoes and real veggies they are just pumping these jars full of water with some stuff in there to make it a little bit thicker so if you look at the nutritions that are in here like the veggies and stuff like that there's just not a lot of veg and there are a lot of people buying this stuff and thinking like oh my god this is healthy because it's red and there must be like tons of tomatoes in there but there isn't that's not a reason why I really like to make my own sauces normally so let's see as I suspected like right here where my thumb is it says like modified maizena stuff I think that's the translation I will put the right translation up here if it isn't correct oh I really hate the food industry sometimes it's just it's not an excuse but it does set us up for failure like all the time it's it's really it's not fair no don't like it and why just to make things easier and cheaper and ugh, no but yeah that's just me ranting about food and society it doesn't helping in like food choices Da, 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 da. by the way the stuff to make things like this thicker they also like use it in soups and other sauces stuff like that like i dare you to check it out like you will be astonished so if you think like okay so if it's a bed then why continue eating it that is because all that stuff that you saw laying in that box right there perfect um all that stuff that i got right there in that box is stuff that i got for free and at this moment it really really helps me a lot because i don't have to go to the store to buy food myself it really helps me not to get tempted by all these kinds of delicious food i do go to the grocery store but not as often as i used to i try to avoid my grocery store as much as possible and it really really helps so far so that's why and i also have some fresh veggies that i am cooking with it so that also is helping but still i don't like the idea behind stuff like that stir 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 la, 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 la. i do add some sugar if you look at this this is probably six grams sugar contains four calories per gram so that would be like four times six give or take 24 calories and this portion is going to be probably for four times so i do not have a problem with adding some sugar to my pasta sauce to make it less acidy acid as you know what i mean I have been cooking for about 25 minutes and the sauce is completely done. It was, yeah, essentially just heating up stuff, <laughs> but it's done. And I didn't time it that well, so I still have to wait for my pasta to continue cooking. I just am going to lay on my bed for like four or five minutes. And after that, I'm going to assemble my dinner and then I'm going to eat. Stewie, I'm going to get you. No? Normally you would run away and now you're just like, give me some attention. You're so cute. I was so worried about you last night, weirdo. You're not going to be happy, but I'm going to take you to the vet on Tuesday to see if you're doing okay. I, oh, I wanted to say like, enjoy that chair because I'm going to bring it down like later this evening. Yep, yep. Hey, Stewie. <laughs> hey. So here is my pasta. Okay, so here is my pasta, and I'm going. Ooh, ooh, there is something stuck in my throat. Okay, I live. This is my pasta. I'm going to add some of my sauce. Of course, I'm not going to add this whole pan because I would be sick throwing up in the toilet. Which is weird because if I would eat this in a pinch, I would definitely be able to eat the whole thing. Like, easily. Let's mix this up. And I wasn't that hungry. I'm still not super hungry, but I have to admit, like, I am having all of these smells in my nose and I am getting a little bit like, hmm, maybe I am home. Say what? Maybe I am hungry after all. So that's it. Let's eat. Bon appetit. By the way, this is not one of my, like, perfectly cooked, most delicious and healthiest meals. 
but I just have to eat something, so I'm just going to eat it. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark gets a 